In this screencast, I'm going to introduce you to mathematical models, particularly making mathematical models from experimental data. This is also known as a regression equation or a regression model. We're first going to look at simple linear regression. That is just an equation for a line. Some of you may have seen the format y equals mx plus b, and that's the exact same format. What I'm doing, though, is using a slightly different notation. So in this example, the y equals mx plus b, m would be equivalent to beta 1, and b, which is the intercept, would be this coefficient beta naught. So beta naught and beta 1 and other betas are just coefficients. They're constants. So I'm going to go through an example I'm, I've got actual data for. What we've got is as a function of the year from 2000 to 2009, the average yogurt consumption in the United States, uh, pounds per person per year. If I just wanted to look at this in a plot, I could select both of those and I can go up here to the insert tab and charts and I can just make a quick scatter plot. Now obviously that looks a lot like a line. I'm going to go ahead and format the axes. You can go in here and you can right click on a data point and you can go down here to add trend line and over here on the right you can display the equation on the chart you can also display something known as the correlation coefficient which is R but this is then the equation that relates Y which is our yogurt consumption with X which is our year so then if I wanted to you know easily predict in the future perhaps then you could just put that year into this equation and you could get an estimate for the yogurt consumption. I'm going to show you a different way to create this equation of the line and there's a couple reasons for that. The first one is using the regression tool in Excel you can get a lot more information out of it than just what's shown here. In this example here we know that the slope is approximately 0.6825 however there's uncertainty with that and when you take more advanced statistics courses you'll learn how to estimate the uncertainty but I just wanted to show you how we can use the regression tool to get us something known as the confidence intervals about the slope and the intercept which is negative 1359. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll leave this up for now but I'm gonna show you how to use the regression tool. I'm gonna to go up here to the data tab now, if you don't have the data analysis thing over here, the data analysis tool, you can go into File, Options, click on Add-ins, and then at the bottom, click Go, and then make sure that the analysis tool pack, it doesn't matter if you're using the VBA one or not, just make sure one of those is selected, and go ahead and click OK. And now when you do this in your data tab, you should have the data analysis tool over there. So to do regression we're going to click on data analysis. It's going to bring up this box. We're going to go down here to the bottom and click regression and then click OK. It brings up the regression tool. Yogurt consumption depends upon year so we're going to put for the input Y. I'm going to highlight starting in the first row. You notice that first row contains labels. It's, so because of that I'm going to click labels here the input X, I'm going to select A1 through A11, and I'm just going to go ahead and leave everything else. I'm going to click OK, and what it does is it creates this new sheet, and if you click somewhere else, and then go up here and drag, and select all of those columns, and then you can click on one of the borders between the columns, just double click, and it just auto formats and auto rescales everything. The most important thing for us is uh, the intercept of negative 1358. You notice that that's exactly what we got back here in the plot. We have negative 1358 as the in intercept and the slope of about 0.6825. So it tells you the same values. However, the important thing are these confidence intervals and p-values, which you you might learn about later. But this is telling us that we're 95% sure that the intercept lies between those two regions. Remember, we can never be 100% sure of the intercept. And we're 95% sure that the slope lies between these two uh, values. So this is a good way to create models, regression models. Another thing it tells us is if we go back here to the plot, 
This is known as R squared, but you'll see in more advanced statistics courses that really a better uh, measure of a good model is not the R squared, but it's something known as the adjusted R squared, which you can only get from the regression tool. So this screencast shows you how we can plot uh, to get an equation. That's typically not done. Uh, engineers typically just create the regression model so that you have statistics about your model. Thanks for watching.